signs that you can notice, you know what I'm saying, in, your, in the dating world or whatever, while you're, you know, paying attention to these narcissists before class. Hold out and watch as the mask slides off. Hey guys, you know, while you're in here, if you hit the like button, that'd be great. I only got a couple minutes left. Um, Hold out sexually and everything and watch the mask slide off, all right? They can't hold a conversation unless they're having a conversation through text message or DMs. When you talk to them on the phone, you know, it's, it's on to the next point. Right out of time here. Um, when you talk to them on the phone, their whole conversation falls apart. They can't, they can't stop bragging about themselves. I don't know what the point is. I don't know the reason why they brag on themselves. I think you just intimidate them and your background and pedigree alone is what intimidates them into bragging about themselves. They're going to hurry up. Um, so they just keep bragging about themselves for no reason. You didn't even ask for it. They'll talk nonstop. They'll talk over you. And that's another telltale sign. You know, there should be no reason for anybody talking over anybody, especially a woman. And they'll be talking over you. They don't care. They got to get all the information out to you about them before you leave or leave the situation. They got to they gotta, they gotta get it all out to you. And you're trying to talk in, like a regular person, but they're just running their mouth trying to get all the information they can out to you. Um, they're even faking being in pass. They're faking being in pass. What'd you say? Yes, yeah, okay, the insecurities. That makes a lot of sense. They're super insecure, so they're always bragging about themselves. And you didn't even ask them any questions like, hey, what do you do? You know, what have you done in your life? They'll just start going through their doggone resume, and you're just like, the hell? Can I get a warning first? You know what I'm saying? Those, these narcs, they'll sit there, if you're on social media, they'll sit there and stalk your social media for a while. They'll think that they know you based off of what you post on social media. And then they'll, based off of that, approach you a certain kind of way. And when you don't, you know, I guess be the way they thought you were going to be, they'll start narking off, raging out, and having a full collapse. Yeah, and I can't say this enough. You know what I'm saying? They cannot hold a conversation. We've got a minute left. They cannot hold a conversation for nothing. They cannot do, man, just talk to them. You know what I'm saying? They, they're not normal. It's going to be super weird. It might get hyperly sexual for no reason out of nowhere. Like, man, we're talking about cheeseburgers. Might you want a dick pic? What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be really careful with these people, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that spirit's in them. And, it, you know, they'll, they're faking being empaths. They're doing the research online to learn how to fake being an empath so they can get in and get more empath supply. It is crazy. It is crazy. Yeah, I, I, I BS you not, ladies. I'm telling you, if the ladies are doing it, I know the fellas are doing it. I got, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Chicks just like, just, you know, talking to them about cheeseburgers or, you know, taking trips or whatever. And it's like, get off the phone and send me a dick pic. <laughs> All right, fine, I guess. You know what I'm saying? This is a guy. Hey, love you guys. I cannot be on here any longer.